Okay guys, so in this video, what I'm gonna go over is pretty much how the Facegood P1 kind of works. So at first I thought it was gonna be really difficult to get this set up because for what it's doing, you know, it was, I thought it was gonna be complicated, but it's actually a lot easier than you think. So if you haven't seen me unbox this, this is the Facegood P1 helmet from Facegood. This is 60 frames per second. I will leave the unboxing video in the description below so go ahead and check that out before you go watch this video so we have the helmet here with the camera and what i'm going to show you is pretty much how easy this thing works so we have right here is the actual transmitter right here and it comes with two antennas now whenever i unbox this video i said that there are four antennas two for the transmitter and two for the receiver the receiver actually don't need the antennas so the actual two extra antennas are just there for you just in case you lose these two so pretty sure because there's no input for the antennas right here so you can see on the receiver part so how it works is you're going to take the helmet and you are going to have two cables and they're all provided as you all saw in the unboxing video you're going to take these two cables one is going to be a limo cable to sdi right here so this is an sdi cable and it's going to run all the way to the helmet and it's going to be on the back of the helmet and the additional cable is going to be a power supply that's going to be running so you can see right here Right? So you have two cables coming out out of the helmet. One will be plugged into the transmitter and then the other one will be plugged in to power. All right. So to power the helmet, they actually include a V-mount battery. This is a 50 a watt hour, 49 watt hour battery. Now, this is a special battery. I tried looking up to see if I can get like a, like a spare one, obviously, so I can get a little bit more runtime on it. But uh, I wasn't able to find this online and I'm probably gonna get with Jello to see if, if I can get another one like this. Uh, even though it does last pretty long, I still wanna back up just in case. But basically all you have to do is take this uh, power cable and you're going to connect it to the hole right here, just like so. And now you are powering the helmet here. And then the other cable from the transmitter you're also going to power up using the same exact battery all right so that being said you just plug it in there's a d tap input right here or p tap and now you're set up so this is what you're going to have on your talent the battery the transmitter and the helmet so that's it that is set up so they do include a little belt loop right here so you can see so you'll be kind of mounting both of these transmitter and v-mount battery on the belt the included belt however during my black magic cinema camera days i did purchase this which is a v-mount plate belt and this works a little bit better because i can just put this here just like so and then put the transmitter using the small rig which is included in the package on this belt loop so this is a little bit more robust i think it's 135 dollars totally worth it and that's why i kind of don't throw away things that i used to own especially for stuff like this because you never know when you're going to use something like this and this helped me tremendously with the black cinema camera back in the day because the batteries were kind of whack and this right here uh, once i turn this on this is going to power the transmitter so you can see i'm going to power it on right now now you're gonna see that that's both both uh, lit up right now. So this is good. So I have this turned on. And now we're gonna talk about the receiver. Now for the receiver, they come with an SCI cable right here. And we also have an SDI on the other end. Now, if you wanna install this to your computer, they do include an SDI PC Express card. I think this is a PC Express card. So two ins and two outs that you can install on your computer. So I do have a PC, but it is very, very bulky. It is humongous, right? So I carried it once on a shoot and it's really not ideal. So what I ended up doing, I ended up buying this Ultra Studio Recorder from Blackmagic Design. I, again, I used to use Blackmagic products, so I'm familiar with this. What this is going to do is it's going to use a Thunderbolt input that I am going to connect via a Thunderbolt cable. 
just like so. And I'm going to plug this in to my laptop that also has a Thunderbolt plug-in. And on the other end of this SDI, you guessed it, I'm going to be plugging this in right here. So now that we have the loop complete, I'm gonna explain this now a little bit better. Now for the receiver, you can power this up using a Sony MPF battery, which I don't think was uh, included. This is my own battery right here, so just kind of keep an eye out for that. Uh, additionally, you can power this using a Limo cable right here that you can plug in, so that's fine as well. Okay, so now that we have the loop complete. So let's turn this on, and I do have this on, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and that's gonna be turned on right now. How this works is I'm gonna have a helmet that is plugged in to the transmitter and I have the helmet plugged into the V-mount battery. Okay, just like that. And then separately, I have the receiver that is plugged in the SDI to my Blackmagic Ultra Studio recorder to my laptop. If you don't want to use the Ultra Studio recorder, you will just unplug this and then plug it directly straight to your computer using the PCI Express card. And that is it. That is how easy it is to use this system. If you have used a wireless monitor system for filmmaking, it is, I think, absolutely the same exact way. And what's cool about this is you can actually have an HDMI in right here as well. And if you have an HDMI out, you can also HDMI out out of here so you can put this on a TV or something like that on set so you can kind of see what this camera is transmitting, which is again, pretty cool. And again, like I said, this is the same exact setup as a wireless receiver and transmitter for video filmmaking. You can, I believe you can use that for that purpose as well, which is pretty darn cool. So that's pretty much it. That is how the Facegood P1 works. You can use Avatari software to uh, use the video feed or you can use OBS Studio. For my laptop, I use OBS Studio because for some reason my laptop is a little bit older and it's not working with Avatari software, but I'm still able to record the video using the Ultra Studio in OBS because it acts just kind of like a webcam, like a camera. But it is infrared, it is 60 frames per second. And yeah, I am going to be recording something here very shortly that I'm gonna be using this product. Uh, this camera is definitely a lot better as far as quality and obviously frames per second than the Face Good D2, but obviously it is much more expensive than the D2. But I think it is still pretty special as far as the usage of this thing so i think the price for this is still right considering how the quality comes out all right so that being said if you all have any questions let me know and i'll see y'all later